Hey, 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 what's up, guys? It's been a while since I've done one of these tier lists, but um, I decided, you know, what better way to make a tier list because uh, you know, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remix coming out, Legends Arc is coming out. I think it would be a good idea to just reevaluate my list on what games I think was probably one of the best, one of the worst, or you know, it's a par throughout the years of of my time playing Pokemon. So, and um. You know, I think I've also thinking about like myself, like uh, uh, I actually don't really know like what games you know I consider the best sometimes, you know. So I guess it'd be a good time to reevaluate my list. And uh, before starting off this, I want you to know is it is only opinions. Please don't take this wrong way if your if your game is like at the bottom or something like that, you know. So uh, that's all. And if you see certain lists not where you want it to be you know it's it's fine you can just tell me what your favorite would be so topping off the list we have uh we have pokemon alpha sapphire so alpha sapphire was the game i bought back in 2014 i think it was released i bought both versions of omega and sapphire i like the game of sapphire um but the thing with what really uh kind of disappointed me is like it was too short of a game you know they did they excluded a lot of stuff that i wish they had like for example the battle frontier was gone i wish the delta episode was a little bit longer but the plus size i did like like was the team mega team magma and aqua they were pretty cool and like the whole suit you go underground to fight to either catch a kyogre or, or a groudon was pretty cool but um you know and the whole mega evolutions was skeptile but it's getting swampert really dope um but you know in my opinion I think it's a B tier, like a really high B tier, because like I said, I just, if they probably added the Battle Frontier and whatever, and a little bit more on Delta episode with getting Rayquaza, all that, it probably would have been higher on my list, but uh, you know, sadly it wasn't. So Pokemon Black 2. So Black 2 was a very, very good game. I know people were going to talk about like, well, the Black and White series were very linear because, you know, there weren't any hard challenges and it was very straightforward. But I think if people can look past the linearity of it, of the game, and actually follow, like, understand the concept of it, and, like, actually appreciate what they did, did, um, I, you enjoyed a lot more, which I did. You know, I thought about that, too, when I first, you know, made the review of the game back in my old video. But now I think about it, it's like, it was a really, really fun game. Um, I really liked it, honestly. I really did. Uh, I played it several times over again. And, um, I can't say for certainty. It is a very good game. Like, Black 2, I'm not gonna lie. It's going on my A list. Because it was such a more completed game than Pokemon Black and White 1, you know? Because it's basically the same as Pokemon Black and White, but then you have the added extra version of Kirum, and then fusing it with uh, Restream or Zekrom, you know? It's pretty cool. And the whole Team Plasma gets this and all that. And the whole, like, uh, concept of N was very cool. I really did enjoy that part. Um, so next one, Pokemon Black. It is a below Alpha Sapphire. Uh, yeah, I think, like I said, Black, when first by playing it, it was a really cool game. I liked it a lot, um, having Cons of N, gets us all that stuff. It was really cool. And I liked the whole, I think, I think this, and the whole seasons that they added to was really cool when you turn your DS and it's either winter or fall, spring, all that. And the whole, uh, and having their, uh, having like, it's, you know, the mystery of N, which I really wish they would dive into more. I think after we defeat him, you don't really hear about him much. So that's very sad. But, uh, and the whole get to stick too, which we really wish we had more time on that part. Because uh, on the post game, oh, they don't pop up anymore. So that was pretty cool. Um, next one we have is Pokemon Blue. Pokemon, Pokemon Blue, I'm gonna put a C tier. Like, I played all these games, either emulator or really back in the day. And for certainty, I can say Pokemon Blue was not a bad game, really not a bad game. It's just like, as you go onto the list, right, you'll see there will be like remakes of it. You know how like Leaf Green, Fire Red, they're just literally the same version of the game, but just like better adaptations and remakes of it. So that's why it's a C tier. So don't, please don't get mad if you see that stuff. So Pokemon Crystal, same thing with Crystal. It's... I think it's above blue because first of all, I added a little bit more uh, depth into the game. 
for what I liked about it. Um, but I think the only thing that doesn't give you a, above or above B tier, C tier, is just like it was like one of the first generation games that they made, you know. And they there's a bunch of flaws into it, you know, like probably graphics, certain things that we didn't, I didn't really like. But uh, I think I, I like it as a C tier. I'll probably change it maybe at the end, but right now they're everything's good as it is. So Pokemon Diamond. Um, so Pokemon Diamond, as I recall, back in 07 or 06? 06, it was a very cool game. This is, I don't think this was the one where they added Poke Watch. I could be wrong, but uh, I like the whole Sinnoh region. I like uh, having battled, battling the Leaf Four and uh, catching the Alga, Palkia. But uh, I think if, and I think it was a very fun game during that time. I have, I think I've, I don't really know if I replayed it recently, but. It was a very fun game during that time, and I think it's one of the more memorable games that I have played with uh, throughout my years. So I'm gonna put it below Black Two. Pokemon Emerald. This is a game that I think everybody started out with. Like they started out playing with. Like you can be oh my first game was actually Pokemon Emerald, you know, all stuff, and it was like nostalgia for them, and there's still a whole remnants through the game, you know. But I didn't play Emerald first, honestly. I played a Fire Red first. But uh, still a very good game. The Pokemon Emerald was a very, very, very good game. Definitely enjoyed it having, uh, having like the bicycle. I think that was the first time you were, and the way you were able to lift your bicycle and stuff like that. So uh, and like uh, I think the having legendary Rayquaza being the main focus on it, it's very fun. Um, you know, for me, there's really no nostalgia feel to Emerald. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong, it's a very fun game, but I don't think it's like. As meaningful as a lot of people say is because maybe because maybe i didn't play it first or i didn't held too much attachment to it but uh it was still a very good game so i'm gonna put it below diamond and pearl or just diamond pokemon fire red um pokemon fire red was actually the very first game i ever got in my red game boy that i played back in when i was a little wee little lad um it's a very fun game you know you travel the world as the character and uh, red Mainly, that would be Ash on the Kanto region, fighting uh, Gary and all that. And it was very fun. I think, and then I think this was the part where uh, T Team Rocket was becoming more notorious into the game. And I really liked it. And of course, being the box art, I picked my starter as uh, Charmander, Charizard. Um, I really liked the game. Very fun game. But, you know, I didn't, I don't. It was a very fun game. It was very difficult. I think, uh, Having fight like Brock in the beginning was really hard. You didn't have like much work with having a Charmeleon with a Metal Claw first or something like that. So but it was a very fun game. I liked it a lot. Um, so for me, it's gonna go below black. Yeah, it's gonna go below black. Pokemon Gold. Uh, Pokemon Gold. I'm gonna put it C tier. Uh, just because uh, it's, it was a game that I, I didn't really like. I said this the heart the heart goal coming out coming out. It was a game that it was like kind of foreshadowed backwards, you know, not foreshadowed but pushed backwards because you have a better remake of it of Heart Gold and uh, you know, and there's just a better version of it, it has to be more complete, more fleshed out to what it is now. Anyway, um, Pokemon Heart Gold. Heart Gold, I have played with when I bought the both pack of Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Heart Gold is a very fun game. It was a very, very fun game. And I really enjoyed it, especially this is the one where the Pokemon became open world. And uh, having a bunch of Pokemon walk around you was very fun. I really liked it. And the challenges that they provided was very cool. I think this the Heart Gold series took place in Johto. So you had a Typhlosions, Relegator, and Bayleaf and all that. So it was a very fun game for me. Um... You know, if I were to put it, I would put it above, put it above Diamond and Pearl. Next one, Pokemon Leaf Green. I think, so Leaf Green is the same as Fire Red. If you play either versions of it, they're pretty much intertwinable. They're the same thing. Box art at the time was just really different. And I think at that time, there wasn't really anything different to the game. Only just the box, if I remember correctly. So yeah, there was like no, it wasn't any specific legendations in catch. I think you can still catch the birds or something. That was out during that time. So uh, for me, I'm just gonna put it right there next to 
uh, Fire Red. Let's go Pikachu Eevee. Um, I'm gonna put Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. They're both since they're both in games. Uh, I'm gonna put it. I don't. I want to put it on a D tier, both of them because not they're not bad. I mean they're not bad. They're a good game, but the and they bring a new fresh, breath of fresh air of how to catch Pokemon and then get XP for Pokemon. You know, we have to catch your actual Pokemon to get the XP and get extra Pokeballs. I think that was really cool. But I think the whole like, mechanics or something. I think the whole mechanics like that for me, it just doesn't really work very well because I'm just so used to battle, XP level up, grind it out, go to the next gym battle, and you know, fight the Elite Four and all stuff. Like I said, it's not bad. I really do like the new concept they put out. It's just like that concept wasn't really for me, you know? So I didn't really get into it much. And I did replay a couple times, see, because it's like, I thought it was because maybe I missed out on a little something, maybe I would overlook something, but no, it was, it was fine. But one moon. Um it's very good. It was a very good game. But I think Pokemon Moon belongs into the above C tier. I played Pokemon Moon and Sun. It was a very good game. Having so Galileo and Lunella. And the the Tapu concepts were very cool. I think it was a very good game. But I think as you come on forward, I use I feel like Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon was more of a complete game. So that's why I would put this as a C tier. I think there were some parts that were missing in, in Moon Sun and Moon. That uh, that uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, will complete later on. Omega Ruby, it's B above them. Like I said, um, they're pretty much intertwinable games. I like both of the games. I played Omega first, then then I still have Alpha Sapphire. I haven't opened it, <laughs> but you know I have played it later on something emulator emulator or whatever you know. I don't you know emulator or something like that, but uh, it's a very fun game. Like I said, same thing with this game. It was too short. No Battle Frontier. Delta episode was really short as well. And I kind of wish it was just longer. Pokemon Pearl will go with Diamond. Um, The same thing with Diamond. Like I said, different legendaries. But uh, I think it was a very fun game. I think if you were to play like, you know, how they have three games usually. I think third game was usually the complete set of said trio games. So, you know. That's what I go with. So next one is Pokemon Platinum S2. I was playing Pokemon Red Game Platinum the other day, or not the other day, but back when I was recording it. It was a very fun game. And I, it's still like fun as I remember it now. It's just like the reason why if you do watch the series, the reason why I didn't finish it is because like I didn't really want to finish it anymore. You know, I just didn't feel the zeal anymore. But it's still as good of a game as I remembered, and uh it's probably one of the best games that they I think uh Game Freak, uh Pokemon Game Freak has produced, so yeah, I think I'm pretty good with that. Pokemon Red, alone Red. I'm putting next to Blue, but like, cause like I said, Fire Red, like probably like the remake of the game is a lot better, more, it's more fleshed out, graphics are better. So, um, Ruby version and Sapphire version. I think I'm gonna put these low B tier. I don't it was like, I don't remember it much. You know, I know I did play it via emulator or something, or something, well, or my friends had it, I borrowed it, but uh. But it's like, like I said, these two games are really are like the same as Emerald, right? I think Emerald just feels more of the complete set of what the storyline trying to tell you. Silver itself, it's next to gold. You know, it's a, it's a better version, you know, Soul Silver is a better version. Now then, we're, it's Pokemon Soul Silver. Are you ready for it? Bam! S tier next to. Uh, platinum. I played Soul Silver countless of times. It was an amazing game. Having open world, same thing as Heart Gold. Having open world, having catching Lugia, having the shiny uh, Gyarados and all that. And whatever else we did into the game, it was very fun. Uh, the reason why I put Soul Silver above Heart Gold because I play Soul Silver more than Heart Gold. And then I think that's like that more version better. Having Lugia is a better for me. Is a more better, more my favorite legendary into the game. So. Next one, it's um, Pokemon Sun. Pokemon Sun will go C tier next to Moon. This better version is coming out, like I said. Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Both games, right? Watch this. Above Fire Red and Leaf Green. 
it's it was so much more fleshed out in this Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. It was a lot better having the Krozma comes in and then fusing with your with your Pokemon. It's basically like Pokemon Black and White too, fusing with Kiro, you know, but it's not a Moon version. But uh, yeah, that's always very really cool. So I put those to B tier. Very fun game. I enjoyed it a lot. Pokemon White two, next two, back two, shoot, black two, uh, black two. Yeah, I like White two and Black two. Very cool games. Having the Fusion of Kiram and then having a second version of the game, it was much more of a complete set. Like I said, when I first like saw the game being released, I'm like, why would they have like version two now? You know, when I was younger, why is the version two gonna have that version one doesn't have? You know, and then I saw the box art of Kiram. And the story being a lot longer and uh and it was very 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 fun game i think people sometimes mislook the fact that pokemon black and white is very it's a very fun intriguing game i think people just hate it because it's too linear it's not as hard as, as other games that they played but i think if people can get over that i think this game is just amazing pokemon white uh same with black um you play either or different legendaries you know maybe different something different certain pokemon you can catch but uh it was pretty cool. Um, the camera angles too. I don't know if I talked about that, but that camera angles. It's really cool when you walk over the sky bridge. It's really cool. And uh, the uh, gym battles are cool. I think this is the first time that in like 3D, you can actually see your badges in 3D in the beginning. So that was really cool. Pokemon X. This is the first Pokemon game in 3DS that you were able to play. And, um, and this is the first time you had character customizations as well. So I was very happy about that. And it did not disappoint. But, uh... And I want to put that above Omega Ruby's Ever Sapphire. I really like the game. It brought a lot of new, good things, you know. Character customizations, the legendaries, good companions, you know. And it was very fun. It was a very fun game. I really enjoyed it thoroughly um, throughout. Um, I think the only part I didn't... I don't remember what I didn't like about it. I think I liked all of it, even the, like the elite force that they had in there was pretty cool. I think all of them, if you beat all of them, it simple as up to like a dragon or something to fight the champion. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty good. Pokemon Yellow. Um, same in between Fire Red. Oh yeah. What did I move? Why is he? <laughs> I was like, what did I move? Pokemon Yellow in between uh Red and Blue because it's like. The basically the same as red and blue is like i think in the beginning you just start with a pikachu rather than the pokemon of charizard and charizard gyarados and all that or sorry the three starters that you normally pick so i think uh it's pretty cool but like i said back in the old days the, that type of game is like if it's like if you ask me if i would play it again not really sorry it's just better games with better graphics right now so that's why i really wouldn't play it pokemon y I don't know why I put above X because I played Y first and I think I like the legendary Evel Tall better than Xerneas. Though Xerneas had a better feature what they have with being fairy and I think he was just straight up fairy. Fairy type. I think something with Evel Tall was pretty cool with me having dark. Is it dark flying? Yeah, being dark flying was very cool. And the whole Kalos region was a very cool region as well. So Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm going to put Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Below, above Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. And now I'll tell you why. <clears throat> why they're like semi low. When I played Pokemon F uh, Sword and Shield, it was too short of a game. I think I, you can finish the game and spend time probably a week. I do give them props with the whole, um, you know, have the whole arena where you have like a, like a soccer suit, a soccer clothes, and have your number in the back, and the whole uh, idea of G Gigantamax and all that. That was a really cool concept, especially when I first saw the giant like Pikachu and Charizard. I thought that was really cool. And the whole Sword and Shield um, um, legendaries coming out. And then that big, uh, what was that thing? You know what I mean? The big the big legendary that looks like a Rayquaza kind of looking thing. It's like all metal. That was pretty cool. Um, and uh, I think I think the only down point is like, it was too short. And people, I you know, people I asked people about the same, team, same thing, about the questions like, was it too short? Yeah, it was too short, and you can see that people, they added, like, the extension pack to it, you know, like, I mean, by Tundra, all that. I think, I wish if they added that into the game, it would have been higher in the B list, or maybe into the A list, you know? But I think just, but I just think, for me, having the game too short was a little, kind of a bad part of the thing that I really didn't like. 
So anyway, here's my list. Um, I have, you know, the list I have topping off top two with platinum and soul silver. And, you know, everything, everybody else falling downwards. So, I don't have anyone on D list, you know. I think, I don't think any games deserve to be in the D list. I think, you know, just, you have the opinions like one's better than the other, you know. So, I think um, this is my list for now. Let me know if you guys do watch the video. What would you change? What is your S tier list? What is your A list? What is, what would you change, you know? I'd like to know what you think. Don't, keep in mind, these are not, like, these are my opinions, like my opinions could change maybe on over the years, but uh, this is what I like right now so far. Um, and like, uh, honestly, any of these games could be A-list, you know, it could, it could even be S-list, depending on how much you had feeling, how much you felt like, uh, how much you liked the game when you were playing it, you know, and how much it, it, me it meant to you. Just, you know, the reason why Platinum and Soul Silver meant to me so much because like, when I, it's just, when I played it, it just felt a lot better, I felt more better happier playing those games than I do like some of the other games you know um but anyway yeah but anyway that's that's it that's how I'm gonna be catching you off so if you guys have anything to say anything you want it you think should have been on the list or anything that you probably would have swapped let me know and and yeah so I I think that's it yeah catch you all later peace out